and people must be very happy today. No new case of infection, so it means zero new case, and it makes the total death still remain the same at mm. 56. And without new case of infection, that's very good news that's true. for Friday. Yeah. yeah. But the good news always come with a, a cost uh, because the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration today uh, in a meeting headed by the Prime Minister agreed to have the state of emergency extended by another month. That means that the state of emergency will take effect until the end of next month, June the, the 30th. Of course, I mean, this is a measure that the government believes is still necessary. I mean, to ensure that uh, the fight against the coronavirus will continue to be effective. Yes, and they have outlined three main reasons to extend the use of state of emergency until the end of June after major meeting among members of COVID-19 Situation Administration or CCSA. So now let's take a look at the three main reasons that CCSA decide to maintain to extend state of emergency until the end of June. The first one is to ensure efficiency and uniformity in implementing restriction measures. Because the reason being that uh, the government needs a, a strong legal instrument to make sure that all government agencies work together in unison and with uh, the kind of uniformity that would be demanded in a crisis like this. Uh, Dr. Thavi Sin, Vishnu Yotin, the spokesman of the center, I mean, explained that currently there are as many as 40 laws that are being employed in the fight against uh, the pandemic. But uh, the Prime Minister, as the head of the, the center, certainly is not in a position to be able to implement those, those laws. And at the same time, when you want to deal with any situation, so a single piece of law, I mean, in the name of the state of emergency decree, certainly would enable the Prime Minister I mean, to declare the, uh, measures and that can be sort of implemented without having to resort to each of the in, each individual of the, the laws in question. Yes, and the second reason is to prepare for next phases of easing of restrictions. We are now currently on the second phase of easing of restrictions and the country is moving toward the phase three, phase four. And of course, God, our God has to remain very high that according to CCSA. And that is part of the reason that Thailand is approaching third and fourth phase of relaxation of lockdown restriction on business activities which are regarded as being at a higher risk. That's why they still have to use the security, the state of emergency as of now. That's right, because there is no guarantee that uh, once the countries enter phase three and phase four of the relaxing of the restrictions, uh, there will not be a resurgence of uh, new cases. So to be on the safe side, the government needs some kind of a legal instrument that can be implemented right away to make sure that if things go wrong on any particular day, they can act, they can react immediately without having to revive the, the, uh, the laws. So that's why the, the government believes that uh, the state of emergency still need to be maintained. Yes. And the third reason, pandemic still rampant in other countries. That's quite clear for Thailand because we have tried to control the situation in the country in terms of local decision, in terms of local situation. So they don't want to have more infection from outside Thailand yeah. to affect the domestic situation. No, but the extension of the state of emergency will need to have an approval from the cabinet. So the proposal for the extension of the state of emergency will be put before the cabinet meeting this coming Tuesday. But of course, I mean, nobody ex expects the cabinet to turn it down. Yes. Because the Prime Minister is both the chief of the cabinet and the chief of the anti-COVID center. So it's a foregone conclusion that that we will have to live up, live, uh, put up with uh, the uh, emergency the decree for another one month. So that's step by step in making consideration up until the point of making final decision to extend state, state of emergency. 
decree, especially from opposition camps. All right, it's expected that uh, the opposition and critics of the government will not be happy to see the state of emergency extended. So today, a lot of brick, brick bats from the critics. Of course, we start with uh, Kunanu Son, Im Sa'a, the spokesman of the Pur Thai, the main opposition party, who claimed that he sees no purpose in implementing or extending the state of emergency uh, in the fight against the pandemic. He said the extension of the state of emergency is only adding more misery to the people who are already suffering from hardships as a result of the shutdown measure. So it's not necessary anymore I mean, to prolong the state of emergency. No, but, but the harshest words came from, as expected, Kun Piyabutsangkonokun, yeah. a key leader of the progressive movement, uh, a reincarnation of the now defunct Future Forward Party. And uh, Kun Piyabut uh, blasted the government for trying to extend the uh, the state of emergency. And he, he, he insisted that the success in combating the virus in Thailand has nothing to do with the state of emergency. He claimed that it is due entirely to the hard work and sacrifices of medical personnel and members of the public. And he accused the Prime Minister of exploiting the state of emergency to serve his own political agenda first to cover up his failure in running the country and to try to use this uh, state of, of emergency to put a lid on the simmering dissension within the coalition partners. And of course, he also sees the use of the state of emergency as a tool by the government to silence students and political activists who are planning to go on the streets to show their discontentment with the government. 